How you guys doing? I'm John from Pathways. I'm Nick from Pathways. And this is our bus. Yeah, this, this is our van. This is what we sleep in for a whole month on this tour at least. And her name is Madison. Or Maddie for short. Maddie for short. She's fat. This is Pikmin. We are, uh, we are a bit of nerds here. And uh, this is one of our favorite games, Pikmin. And we have a uh, one cactus, or is that maybe that's cacti? Cacti. Uh, we have one cactus plant, uh, kind of hanging out, potted. We stare at that every single day for His many hours Doug. a day. His name is Doug. We are kind of pussies though in the cold because we're South Florida boys. So like this is insane. If you look at my gloves, I have hot hands inside my gloves as well as over here, and I gotta do that to preserve the money makers. No hot hands. <laughs> so uh, we stand by the rule of the road that has been bestowed on us by other touring bands with more experience than us of having a co-pilot at all times. At every time of the day, we do not drive without someone in the front seat, um, in the passenger seat, to make sure that the other person is being navigated and is driving safely. Or at night, if we're driving at night, that that person isn't falling asleep. Um, especially Will. Especially Will. Our drummer. Um, he, he pretty gets, much just gets narcoleptic at random times. He'll just be driving, and before he can even notify someone, he'll just start driving, veering off, and then we hear dong 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 dong, and we all wake up and freak the fuck out. We're like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> so we always have to have someone here to keep an eye on. Like everyone's always watching somebody, you know? Yeah. So Will also he has the highway hypnosis, but he's in complete denial about it. So he'll be driving and he'll start talking absolutely nonsense, and uh, we'll completely deny the fact that he's getting sleepy. Um, but primarily, most of the driving um, is done by myself or Jensen. John pretty much, you know, he sits in the back and works on videos and editing and writing because, you know, we're writing a new record right now. Um, and then uh, Will is only allowed to drive during the day, pretty much in the morning. And then Larry is um, Larry and drives her an hour or two a day. This is the arbitrary. Uh, these guys are real cool. We played with them in Mississippi. Felix Martin. We, Felix Martin. We did. Uh, we joined tours yeah. at one point for one show, and we combined the packages. That was a really fun show. Crazy. Of course, In Dying Arms. The homies at In Dying Arms. The homies. Uh, we do listen to that quite a bit. Um, oh, this this is one of our favorite things. Yes, this is smell good. This. Smell this, please. Give it to him. He's got to smell it. Mmm. That is donut sanitizer, my friend. Donut shop. There's plenty of that to go around for everybody. I'm gonna put some of that on right now. Yeah, we're gonna get all up in there. Mm -hmm. I would, um, but. Uh, we also, uh, we have our little organization box right here. Um, we have all the medical stuff, um, medical stuff, cough drops, acetaminophen, um, emergency, vitamin C, icy hot, anything. We have more smelly stuff in here. More smelly stuff. Gotta have the smelly stuff. Um, this is generally the utility drawer uh, where we put the uh, disinfectant wipes. Very important uh, because our bassist um, does not believe that vitamin C works and Maybe also lights. does not, for showers, also does not believe that um, he should be properly dressed in the cold. So he got sick um, in our first week of this run and got everybody else in the band sick. And so for us Floridians, we thrive off of this. And again, I do have them still in there and we cannot play a show without these. We have, these are absolutely vital to uh, our life on the road. And then the bottom is just trash. Uh, that's where we keep our trash bags and uh, our fabric spray for if it gets stinky in here. Um, you can't smell video, but it does not smell in here for a very good reason. Uh, we're super adamant about that. Well, uh, I have a thing for crystals, so you know when we stopped in Richmond, I uh, went around picking up crystals. Right now, keep talking. Oh, that is uh, Will. That's our drummer that we were telling you about. That He's a narcoleptic driver. Highway hypnosis. Um, as far as the music goes, huh? um, Larry is a terrorist and puts on the weirdest, most obscure Art Deco core, as I call it, um, ever. John likes to listen to Shut Up and Dance. Shut up and dance with me. She's Will a is uh, Will's a funky guy. Um, me, I'm moody, so I'll, I'll put on whatever I'm in the mood for. And Jensen and I, who generally co-pilot each other, will listen to like movie scores or video game scores. Um, in the, in the midst of the evening driving through the middle of nowhere because it just works that well. Okay, so our bassist Larry sleeps here. He insisted on bringing this little foam pad with him and he <laughs> sleeps here. It's really annoying. This is his stuff. He's got a suitcase and he puts all his stuff down here. We have an inverter over here. I My beat's broke, so I'm super gluing that. Um, but back here, let's see. We usually keep our backpacks over here. This, this is Jensen's crap and 
It's not, these are the bunks that we actually custom built. They're actually really cool and they actually lift from over here. You can lift them though. So sometimes if we want to, we can literally just fly in and then the person behind it will just uh, close it up. And then there's two more bunks down here, which is really uh, cool. Before we move any further back, we call this Larry's Corner because it is just, well, as you can see, it's Larry's Corner. We don't really go over here. Uh, it's his, <laughs> it's his special space. We it let him have really his special, it smells funky. Um, you know, just basis things. Do a fabric fresheners. Fabric back. fresheners, we do We do, do the spray down. Um, I generally either will sleep up here, if Will's not sleeping up here. Um, not that I have anything against Will, I'm just, you know, I like to spread out. Uh, but I'll sleep on this bench at night and then up here during the day. Um, we have our blankets nice and folded, actually, which is really good job. That's Will, Will did that. Um, this is where the real magic happens. -na 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 uh, well, this is my bunk. This is where I sleep. Jensen usually sleeps here. And uh, this is actually memory foam. We actually built these and they're really cool. Um, again, these lift for easy access uh, from the top. Will will usually sleep here. Sometimes Nick will sleep here. And then Larry usually will sleep in the, in the Larry deck. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's very simple. I mean, this has sustained us for a whole month. And honestly, I'm, I'm a freaking weirdo with it. I actually prefer sleeping in the band. Like if we didn't get invited to fans' houses or family, friends, I actually am the one that prefers to sleep in here. I'm, I've, I'm become one with the band. I, I go down with the ship. I <laughs> usually just keep using door equipment in here. Oh. Oh. This is, is the special room. This is time out. Is that my guitar? Because I know I just restrung it. Help me! <laughs> it's Jetson! <laughs> and he broke his phone. On camera. Oh, this is this is good. This is good. That's real reality TV. That's it. That was that was beautiful. <laughs> well, Jetson, what are you gonna do with that? What happened? What happened? I am front. going we'll to now what happened, sell buddy? this on Craigslist as a new phone. They'll never know. We'll Guitars, see, we'll the see pathways. The they'll give it the markup. There you go. Oh yeah, show them the front. Brand new. <laughs> <laughs> um, to start off, this is where we went out on the first day. This is mine, and then Nick has one too. And it's really convenient, so this way we don't have to keep going in our suitcases every once in a while. Um, this is fun. We have a new habit where we play with all the touring bands at Dying Arms and Nihilus. We kind of chuck the, the old pits getting around, and it's really fun. And then we got this Frisbee, which is really funny, because we got this in Texas, and we were like, hey, where are the Frisbees at? And they were like, you mean a disc? Because in Texas, apparently, uh, this is PDGA approved, which is the Professional Disc Golf Association. They take their uh, frisbee really serious over there. So we said, why not? We'll buy one. Jensen built these shelves right here. This is for our light towers. We got like these giant towers that hold our lights for live performance. All right, uh, once again, we are uh, four fifths of Pathways. Larry's watching our merch. Um, if you haven't heard of us, uh, we're currently signed to Tragic Hero Records. We put out a record in April called Dies Irae. Um, and we are currently right now in the process and pretty much finishing up the writing of our full length, our debut full length. Uh, do not know when that will be out, but um, we're going to start tracking that when we get home. Um, we're out on the road right now with uh, Denialist and In Dying Arms, and it's been super fun. Our, our main uh, social media, um, we got Instagram, that's at Pathways Band. Um, our Facebook is facebook.com slash Pathways Band. So check us out there, send us a message. We always, you know, try to talk back with everyone and, and have a dialogue. We're not, uh, we're not the type of guys that aren't going to give you the time of day. And uh, I don't know if any of you guys have anything to say. And that's a wrap. That's sweet. Thank you very much.